As schools close for third-term holidays, students have been challenged to lead a productive and disciplinary lifestyle. Former Katikiro of Bunyoro Kitara Kingdom, Joseph Zavia Kiza, urged parents to desist from exposing their children to social media, which may result into engaging in unbecoming behavior. Children watch educative movies and, and programs. Other than watching uh, these uh, moonlight uh, services on TV and uh, where people are fighting in wars, because that will change the ideology of a child. The child will grow up thinking that fighting is good and uh, the sleeping and upbringing of that child will quite be so different from the person who has been nurtured not watching them. Asimwe Vicent and Namanya Richard, both directors of schools, underscored the role of private sector in supplementing government programs. For help from government, the government says it has paid help for their UP schools. They cannot help us as private. But I'm saying, as we are working, because we are helping government, we congest the children who are in UP schools. So I'm requesting if they have help like uh, textbooks, desks, such things as pay in that as private schools, and also taxes. Taxes are very many. They want, want they, they should be decreased because we are helping government to congest their schools. We went comes with plastic materials. These private schools, the directors, have tried to squeeze the amiga resources to ensure the, the, the schools are facilitated. How I wish, because the children they are handling are not also private, they are, also, they are public. The government came in also to also give them some support, basically when it comes to scholastic materials. For example, when we were hit by COVID, there was the issue of the abridged curriculum. And the st book stand at that level may not get it in those very schools. If our I wish that also government came in to give some hand, it will have revamp. The MP for Buyaga West, Tinka Simire Barnabas, stressed the need for parents to enroll children in early childhood classes as a foundation of their education career and to protect them against early marriages and school dropout. We ask, as they go for holidays, the parents to listen to them. The parents to continue adding more value to their children. To work hard to make sure that they, they, these children are returned to the school the next year. Because that their academic life has just started. I'm Benoni Mukwaya with Musinguzi Andrew, UBC.